Why are Russian tanks relatively smaller and lighter than Western tank? Tanks serve as massively armed and main battle tank that move along two infinite metal chains with the ultimate goal of helping a nation win a battle. No tank has ever been demonstrated to be impervious to attack, and almost every good design choice involves a trade-off, whether it be an immediate design trade-off, an economic or manufacturing trade-off, or something else. Let's review the design philosophy of Western and Russian tanks to see how they vary. The Soviet tank design concept favored two tiers of tanks, one that is less capable but can be produced in bigger sizes, and another that is more capable but is produced in smaller quantities but is more suited to tank battles. Both the T-54-55 and the T-64, as well as the T-72 and the T-80, may be seen in these pairings. Western typically deploy a single main combat tank platform to create a unified tank fleet. Soviet engineers favored designing tanks with a low profile, not too much weight, and a relatively small size. Western vehicles grew larger and heavier in the second half of the 20th century, with notable exceptions being the Leopard 1 and AMX-3 tanks. The results of this concept difference are readily evident, for example, when comparing the T-72 and the Leopard 2, or the M1 Abrams. The T-72s are noticeably shorter, lighter, and smaller. This has certain benefits in that the operator may field a larger fleet of T-72s than they could with Western tanks for the same budget, because the T-72s are far less costly to build and maintain. It's interesting to note that Western tank designs have gained favor with the public since around 1980, thanks in large part to their seeming success, as indicated by their low battle losses up until roughly 2006. However, in recent conflicts like those in Syria and Yemen, where rebel groups have found access to more advanced anti-tank guided missiles, it has been found that many Western tanks are vulnerable. As a result of being too expensive to buy and operate in large numbers, as well as being too heavy to move swiftly to where they are needed in any significant quantity, Western tank fleets are viewed by their primary users as problematic equipment. Because of this, the majority of Western vehicles are quite likely to incorporate an autoloader into their designs. This is due to the realization that larger caliber guns will shortly be needed. It becomes more difficult for a person to manage the heavier ammunition with larger guns. The obvious answer to the problem is an autoloader. Additionally, this enables a crew reduction from 4 to 3 or the complete removal of personnel from the turret. Due to the Russian tank's smaller size and lower weight, engineers may design a vehicle with a smaller covered surface area while still saving some weight. This benefits military planners by allowing them to better train and reduce manpower expenditures by 25% for a tank force.